My name is Dan, I am 20 years old, and I am a youth worker working with young people and meeting them where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Lisa Knight-Davis, I work for Monmouthshire County Council, um, undertaking systems reviews. But outside of that, my interest is in the community and how the youth are involved. Um, my name's Sharon Lewis, and I'm part of a team that are putting on a music festival in Abergavenny called Breaking Out. Um, Breaking Out is a young people's music festival. It's to be held in Abergavenny on Saturday the 16th of June 2012. Um, and the actual event is a launch of a new website which allows us to work with young people. Yeah, the website is um, www.beentherebefore.co.uk and on that website there is um, what we're calling aftercare, somewhere that they could talk to somebody, say for example, if um, another um, young person is struggling with drink, then I would maybe speak to them because my background is very much an alcoholic. Um, and it's a place where you can engage with them and then signpost them onto relevant agencies, but take away that fear of going to an agency. And I had an idea, working with young people, how, because of my past, they're able to talk to me and engage me a little bit more, maybe if they're using anything or drinking. Um, and then also I brought artists across from London, um, and I noticed the impact that had on the young people. And so we said, why don't we do it on a bigger scale? And that's where the festival came from, really. This is a large-scale regional event with local empowerment, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and it's given, opportun <laughs> <You're like that. laughs> given opportunities to young people of Monmouthshire yeah. to, um, to act as stewards and assist in the day and gain qualifications. Can I give you an example of that, like, yeah. which is about an, hour, about an hour ago, I spoke to about eight sixth form students in a sixth form, one of, a, one of our secondary schools, and I, we were talking to them about this event, what was happening, they said, oh, I instantly, how can we buy a ticket, how can we, get, how can we go? I said, well, how about doing a little bit more, how about if you steward it, you become trained, how about you become on, this, on the other side and get, gain a bit of experience, what it's like to be involved in such a project? And then that instantly makes them so enthused to want to be involved. Um, they want them to be trained in first aid. They will get an awareness of health and safety. They'll understand what risk assessments are so that when they may be involved in similar processes when they leave school, they already got that experience that they can build on. And I think to see them saying, oh God, how can I get involved? How can I go training? How can I get these qualifications? It's such a different aspect to see and how we work with them and give them the opportunity to do such things. I think. You know, I think over the last couple of years, we've seen a different culture in the council, a different ethos of working. Yeah, um, culture of the organisation, senior, senior leadership, uh, have changed the culture of the organisation to make it okay to take chances, to take risks. As long as nobody's going to get hurt, as long as you're not breaking the door, um, take the chance. The ability to n not be afraid of failing, but um, to put things in place to minimise the risks of failing. So that failing isn't to be something to be scared of, it's something to deal with. I think, I think that all officers that we've um, consulted and talked to within the authority have gone outside of their normal responsibilities, haven't they? They've been prepared to push the boundaries and say, yeah, we'll give this a go, OK, it's taking a chance. Mm. We but haven't come across anybody who has said, no, I don't want to be involved. Absolutely no. No. That's including officers, councillors, county councillors, whoever. Mm. There's been nobody who says, no, no, this isn't a good idea. Paul Matthews has been amazing, really. Um, uh, of course, I don't know the systems within the council, so I found it quite alien. Sometimes they can have a conversation and I really haven't got a clue or the council kind of spiel and what you can and can't do, that sort of thing. Um, but I found Paul really easy to talk to and he's just, OK, what, you know, just be... If, as long as you're honest and you say exactly what, you, you know, what we need and everything, he's been... Mm. I don't know. It's just been really, really helpful. We would have worked in our silos, wouldn't we, before? That would have been, I work in the one-stop shop and that's where I work and that's, nothing outside that is, would come into my day job. But now, we kind of have permission to go across departments. And, yeah. Yeah. And to work with other... Because what we very much notice is that lots of people have got something to bring to this. Loads of people. Yeah. yeah. And each person within the council, each department within the council, especially you look at people like Leisure. What can what can Leisure give us? You know, we're talking to people like Ian Saunders and you know, he will reel off the stuff which they could provide and how we can work together in partnership mm -hmm. and collaborate, I think is the most important word. We see a human side to the authority. Yeah. I think that's what we're seeing, aren't we? Yeah. As yeah. opposed to a 
transactional. It's just a real human, you, you can feel it.